just, just right there. This is the 3D exactly. portion of the yeah, show exactly. right now. Some call me Haru. Shit, I'm Parker. Nice to see you. This is Be Consider Show episode four. Yeah. Welcome. Indeed. Glad Thank you're me. here. Yeah, so we're going to continue our little series called uh, Restoring Humanity. I think that's just always going to be the, <laughs> the series. The, yeah, yeah, true. True that, true that. Because it's, it's really about the key thing, what we've been doing, what we actually talking about is communication you know we have been cutting off our communication right or or that or changing it yeah Not new, new forms of communication yeah. Yeah. removing others yes in ways that's what's so weird about it the hunger graves yes <laughs> what's so weird about it is we're in a time where in a way, we're actually communicating, a form of communication, communicating way more. And we're talking to people which we would have never talked to in the past because there wasn't an easy way. You know, now we're just doing the texting and the Snapchats and the, and the whatever Quick messengers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's just these. And with people, not only just people that we know in real life, but, you know, just random people who've been on the internet. No doubt. So we're communicating more. So then where's the disconnect? How No doubt. You know, I mean I've mm. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, <laughs> just hearing some of the stories that, you know, you really do, you'd be wondering what you, you could say a lot of things on a text or on a email, but then when you actually sit down and talk with the human face to face <laughs> That's when you start getting. It really is not the same. You know, yes. There's been times in my past where I've felt like I've known someone really well, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I but I've only communicated with them via, you know, a text message or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, we're best friends. Communicate. <laughs> or something. Yeah. Then you meet in person. It's like this is a stranger. <laughs> I mean, it really is a stranger. It's, it's just weird. It's unexplainable how you could be communicating more, yet it's we're not we're getting farther away yeah, from each other. And, and I think it, it starts in the home. Obviously, it starts in the home and moved out on those outskirts. And I mean, we've been working with this. We see these problems. That's what's crazy. You do have them kind of moms and people that's actually involved in the schoolhouse, whatever. You see some of them really starting to, you know, they get it. But then at the same time, it's like it's so abundant where we, our communication factor is not common. We're not all saying the same language. We're not all talking the same language. Not too. It, it, the separation, the, you know, the, the classisms, the isms, the things that's keeping us separated. They're doing so good at it, we can't even talk. We can't even talk about it. You see what I'm saying? It's so good. Because like I said, the journalism has, you know, the journalism is not as compelling anymore. You know what I'm saying? It don't really keep your, it don't keep your conscious anymore, the consciousness. It's like, same today, old, same yeah, old. They're, they're pushing all these little agendas, you know, things we'd be like, wow. Like that show, The Ballers. I mean, people wouldn't typical wouldn't like it, but if you kind of had seen some of the things, like what are, what are the players going through? What are they going through to get to these particular positions and stuff like that? Because you really don't get to experience that as much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying that's a good show to me. Don't take me wrong. It's stereotypes and all the well crap like any other empire or any of these other mine tragedies. Yeah, that's the one that's on HBO, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Destroying the cultures. Yeah, exactly. But uh, it's actually a good show, but at the same yeah, time, it's like, you know, we still gotta, we still gotta talk to people. We still gotta interact with people. And that was one of the things I was thinking about on the communication is the customer service at all these different stores now. It's so bad. 
I mean, they're horrible. They don't, they don't respect you no more. Throw your stuff, whatever. You know, ripping you off, thinking, you, accusing you for stealing it up at a Walmart. <laughs> yeah, no. it's really. Well, what the? Yeah, it's still again. Oh it's just backwards yeah, because it's there's crazy. There's more. Oh, there's man. so many people out of work. I, you'd think customer service would be great because you'd get the best. Come on. And even if you didn't get the best, you'd get the people that were thrilled to have a job and they're going to try their Indeed. damnedest to be Indeed. good at customer service. It was like, no one, it's like, it just, everywhere you go. I mean, it's a rarity to have good customer service. Yeah. And it's so rare that it, like, slaps you in the face. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, whoa. That's, and that's, and that's I, usually man, how. And you remember usually, that. Yes that business or that yeah, yeah, whoever it is that person that effect yeah that effect that energy oh oh you like talking oh you oh yes you acknowledge on my yeah, fellow human exactly. being exactly you know just like the opening up doors for people you know or, or something just little commonalities that you usually do just to be doing it courtesies or you know what I'm sure. saying yeah I do it I mean I know I do it to anyone yeah I don't even know I do yeah, it really exactly so yeah, exactly, it just be a part of the fabric. It's just something you do. It's just the respect thing, and that's what I'm saying about the communication is cut off. And all these themes we're gonna be talking about, but we're trying to just get you to just kind of wake you up a little bit. Think about these things. Think and grow rich. Napoleon Hill. That's a drop. <laughs> you know, but I'm just saying, it's a <clears throat> understanding. Like we gotta start really getting back. I mean, brothers, y'all recognize back in the 90s, we didn't. We had to learn numbers. We had to apply numbers in here, phone numbers, and you knew a whole bunch of numbers. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it was an understanding you was using more of your mind, kind of like the cannabis. It brings out more of the psychic glands, nerves that start connecting, right? Interconnecting, boom, 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 and it's opening up different highways or byways in your head. So we tend to start opening up to things. That's Yeah, what are they <coughs> I gotta find this article of, you know, whatever they say we we have really only tapped into like half our brain. If that. So it's like Some holy cow. <laughs> That's yeah. so we if we there's a whole nother part to us that we haven't even tapped into. I think this is how there's some people that can do amazing things in life, and you look at them up up on this pedestal because they can do these crazy things with their bodies or their mind or whatever. Maybe they just figured out somehow how to tap into the rest of their mind just a little bit, even and, just and a little bit. That, that maybe they were lucky, yeah. or maybe you know they just happen to have a little bit more, or maybe there's something they're doing. Maybe they're more open. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Yeah. But I think yeah. it's like we are all capable of, <laughs> of these things. Yeah, for sure. And that reminds me of the subject matter I've been kind of talking to you about, about the shrooms, thanks to my brothers. <laughs> 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 and since, since I uh, put that on the planet, but at the same time, it's like what that enable you to do, right? Take you to the next level for you. Not for everybody, yeah. it's for you. The, the flower, the gift is for you, <laughs> not everyone. So, I mean, it's an understanding too, just like the cannabis. I mean, it does that a little bit, but, you know, and other things that has been put on this planet for us. Not to abuse it. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? We still give praise to the ganja. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the ganja is you know it's us plain and simple it's us you know what I'm saying I'm not saying we smoke ourselves but we're all part of each other we're all like Doug Benson on yeah, exactly. day <laughs> exactly you know so these are just some things I think we have to identify with like everything else we have to identify put something associate something with it like all the stereotypes that we've been even some of the commonalities, like um, how we have these little, I don't know, stereo uh, superstitions of certain things. Oh, that's going to have you happen. Oh, you, you know, like, for example, gum don't never digest in your belly. It stays in your belly for seven years. You remember hearing that? Yeah, certain things, uh, even somebody, oh, the little guy I was telling you about when I was working out at the park, he was telling me, uh, 
coffee stud in your bro. And I'm God. thinking, this guy's in the fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, think about that, man. He's in the fifth grade, and this is what he's been told. And I'm thinking, damn, the lies my teachers told me by, uh, oh, Lord, uh, I forgot the brother's name, but go look that up. It's definitely a great book. Great, obviously. Pretty deep book. But it's all these lies were being told. I mean, they're still teaching your children that Columbus sold, sold the blue. Now, you know we need a good ash whooping. <laughs> Literally. Think about it. Really it really is man. amazing how just we can rewrite literally rewrite <laughs> history and it just somehow it's what we've been taught and no one no one even blinks an eye like what about what about that first I, want, I wish I was alive on that first year like the, let's say the year that they knew Columbus didn't do what he did, and then the year after when they made up what he did. It's like if you were alive during that time yeah. and you remember seeing the switchover on the textbook. What the, what the hell were you and thinking? I'm sure that like, was. What, the, I'm sure that is. But it's the like case. how did how did, how did how did not a people enough people go up in arms or be, or at least be like a national thing? Like why in the world did we rewrite history here? That's weird, don't you think? I wish that question was asked. Like, how could it. Have yeah. it not? <laughs> no. Or maybe it was, and they just put the kibosh on it anyways. Oh, and said, screw you, we're yeah. doing it. Yeah. And it's sad. Hush, hush. But how they do it, too. They they, oh. they they don't communicate it to over to the people. It's quiet. It's one of those things that is a natural thing. Kind of like our traditions are these holidays we celebrate. We just go with the wind, right? We just go with the whatever, the flow, the, the Friday night crazy people after Thanksgiving night, you know? Why just, Friday? Yeah, just things like that. And we get these people in these zones or these particular, like the Hunger Games, the same kind of method, even though they use the children, reverse psychology. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> but my point is how they're utilizing these particular pools, getting these social environments, putting them up. There's so much gentrification going out here in Seattle right now, and it's ridiculous. I'm going to put that out there. People just don't know. I, I have seen a change. Yeah, I've been here almost 20 years, almost 20 years, and I have seen a gentrification that's been bigger than a lot of different states across this country, man, literally. I mean, it's like, wow, everybody getting kicked out of Seattle. Now, Kent is one of the biggest. Mm. You know that? Kent is one of the biggest, and that's crazy, because 20 years ago, it wasn't even close. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even top. So it's weird, man. It's weird. But people are not paying attention. That's what I'm saying. And the communication factor is so dumbed down when we looking at these so-called... Uh, you know, commercials and all this driving subliminal messages that's keeping us deaf, dumb, blind. You know what I'm saying? Exactly it. Deaf, dumb, blind. And it's like, I can't talk to my friend. I can't talk to the bus driver because the bus driver acting like I'm trying to go upside his head. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? No so one trusts like, anybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah, it we comes back trust. to this guy wants what I have. Yeah. He's trying to get what's up there. What we talked about <laughs> the last show. Yeah. It, it's the the you know the carrot hanging from oh, the whatever. Yes, yes, you yes. know that we're chasing is just just right there. Yeah. This is the three D portion of the yeah, show exactly. right now. Exactly. It's just right within reach and you always <laughs> think that you're right within reach. Come on. I've experienced yeah, it myself. They snatch it from I remember when I was when I was younger, and I said, oh "God, if I could just make thirty five thousand a year, man, yeah, yeah, I would be great." Twenty years later, no one has I mean, and then you, but then you like you're so close yeah. to that carrot. Mm -hmm. You you are so close that you get that money or whatever it is we're talking about, surpass it somehow. Then, then this up here is now, oh, if I could just get yeah. that, then my life will be complete. 
but it's just this constant and it goes and this guy and that guy and that guy and that guy and that guy are in my way trying to trying to steal the same thing it's mine we obviously believe everything is 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 ours and so then we can't just don't trust anybody can't communicate people looking at you like you're crazy our children are learning this our children picks this up and then they just go generation to generation then we're wondering why nothing has been changing because what I've been seeing I've been seeing a lot more families breaking away and it and what I'm seeing is not just uh, the communication factor is lifestyles totally different lifestyles where families are like separating like you're wondering the dad is doing a whole nother lifestyle the mom is doing a whole nother lifestyle and then your children are just separated they don't even deal with neither of your parents you see what I'm saying so it's like these are the separations I'm seeing throughout my particular, you know, upbringing and whatnot, and seeing, dealing, going within family, seeing how family structure. And I think that has been one of my reasons why I haven't had children too. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, certain things like that when it come in, you kind of like thinking, oh, should I? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> But yeah. Each his own. I give you power. You know, all, all respect to thou daddies and mamas across the planet. You know what I'm saying? Just when you can handle that, you, who? No, it's <laughs> tough. I mean, it's tough. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely a thought. You mm-hmm. know, which I mean, I have too. So, yeah. but it's it's tough. Uh, was it's a part of me was like, oh, I want to bring them into this world. Mm. Do they deserve to be in this world mm-hmm. how it is right now? Mm-hmm. It's like, is this the best thing? Yeah, no doubt. It's like, is this, are they going to be happy? Are they going to be successful? You know, are they going to live their life fully? Are they going to be able to change the world? Yeah. Make a difference in positive ways? You know, is this, this era that they're going to be in the next however long? Mm-hmm. Is it going to be good enough? Yeah, that's the code. That's <laughs> I mean, the question. It, that's the that, question. But that's where, it, 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 but then it gets, that's how it's getting worse and worse, I think, yeah. is that, I think a lot of the, even though a lot of us are that blind, dumb, stupid, mm-hmm. there's also a lot of us that are deaf, blind, dumb, yeah. stupid, oh and, uh-oh. and, uh-oh. and, uh-oh. Somehow, their mind has awakened a little bit, or they're like, "Okay, I know I'm deaf, dumb, blind, stupid. <laughs> why? Yeah. What is and what can I do about it? Yeah. And why? What you know? It's like, why have I been like this? Yeah. Like, yeah. they're still, we're still and that way. Like, we know we're us. in yeah. that, but we're like thinking there's got to be more. And it, and it is. We, and it, it, what's interesting, even what you say with that. Because you got a young generation out there. You do have some young brothers and sisters who's actually on that mindset. You know, have an old soul, as you would always say. And you know, I always thought about that, too. I was like, well, you, you kind of, we have a lot of in common, commonalities. You know, yeah, you're a lot younger than me, but at the same time, we have these experiences within life, you know. And that's, that's I think, the whole point of what this show is about, too, just trying to connect bring that together let's get these you know everybody got their ideas like I said everybody got their opinions but let's look at the facts take the facts and chop them up let's see what we got here let's talk about it let's get some meanings behind this let's get some value behind this so we can actually become the true currency you know what I'm saying the true currency where we're sparking each other and brothers is doing what they want to do and we formulate what we want to formulate and, and, and it's not you know not saying this is a utopia but it's all about a respectful thing yeah, it's not like it's you know it's not like there's it's not like it's the secret and we have to <laughs> oh there it is oh we got it yeah no we, got we got it. no it's like there's no there's no like one way to do things or no. one you know one answer or one hope you know that you know that's sounding like some sort of religion. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on here. <laughs> I mean, literally, majority of when we when we're looking at more of the masses of the the planet, obviously it is religion. I mean, the three world religions, 
you know, uh, I wouldn't put Judaism in there, but Christianity, mm-hmm. Catholicism, and uh, maybe the uh, <laughs> Muslim. Yeah, yeah, that community. And then you got your world ones, Buddhism. You know, the when you're talking world, uh, yeah, one that actually speaking on the one God, supposedly, but. It's some interesting more thing. ways to yeah. uh, manipulate you. That's all, and just uh, you know, fight amongst ourselves. You know, yeah, and that's what I'm saying the right about the yeah, player. yeah, classism, you know, racism, all and even racism, sexism, all of it. Yeah, you know? and even and we're not saying again. You know, it's just like like all oh, those religions are wrong or something no, per no, se. They got positives and all of it. Yeah, it's, it's like <laughs> well, who am I to tell you? Just Indeed. like, who are you to tell me? Yeah, it's like, for sure. But we can have these different, you know, I can like Journeys. this sports team and you can like that no sports doubt. team. And no doubt. we can still communicate. There's no there's no issue between us. Oh, I'm better than you and you. Your God don't do this. And <laughs> I, I can't believe we're still on that level. You're wrong because I have the one. Especially with everything that's been debunked. Everything has been debunked. On the planet, we got to think about this. Everything that is written has been invented. That's been invented. The written has been invented. We live it. We know what it is within us. See what I'm saying? It don't have to be written down. You see where I'm coming from? It didn't have to be written down. It was already inside our DNA already. When we come here, we all relate to one each other. Even if we, even if I didn't like this guy, we still would be connected. You see what I'm saying? Regardless. Because I think of it as we're all sales, right? We're all sales. We got billions and billions of sales in us. But we're all sales and we represent something, you know, mm-hmm. within each other. You know what I'm saying? Well, you represent me or represent my personality. And you I mean, guys represent simply, our personalities, just, you know? We're just all human beings. Yeah. But I'm not even talking about the, the sure. physical man. Sure, I'm sure. just talking about more of the, the spiritual the oneness, as we would say, you know, oh, now we're getting into religion. And yep, we're Catholics here, we're Hindus, we're <laughs> Islamic. Uh, we're all the religions here, if you want to put it down like that. We're all of them. You know, I take a piece of everything and put it into my amalgamation, and I build my polic- my Medicare or my Polycare. <laughs> And build it up. I don't know, what, not, I don't know what he's talking about either. Y'all, so that's y'all cool. know what I'm saying. <laughs> the real OGs out there, the real OGs. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about because we. The whole point is connecting. Yeah, you know how long that? it took me to realize what that stood for? Connecting. Not that. No. You know, OGs. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. The longest time I had no idea. Because yeah. <laughs> like, no one. <laughs> No one ever said it. No, no, so, no. Well, you know, I'm just a white boy, you know, so how am I supposed to... Am I supposed to... <laughs> see? See? There's more yeah, of that yeah, yeah, stereotype. Yeah. And, and usually it is. But usually it is. It's yeah. good. It, it, I mean, that's what's great about the comedians, right? Because the comedians can actually express those particular things. Well, stereotypes are usually yeah. based on some form of yeah, fact. Yeah. The problem is yeah. it's now gone where, like, we all think that literally the stereotype is it's everybody. Everybody, yeah. That's a, yeah. That's a, that's the kind. <laughs> and you can't laugh thing. about it. Yeah, God forbid. Yeah, and don't say it. And whatever else, you know. But if we coming down to our one minute, um, would there be any last words you want to kind of wrap up? Say. Check out the website. It's going to continue to uh, go the right direction. We're working on a uh, Patreon page. Yeah. Which, if you haven't heard of that, uh, that is a kind of a place where you can contribute to the show mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, in such a way as, oh, you know, I think it's worth a buck a month or a buck an episode or 20 bucks or whatever. And uh, we'll put on there kind of, you know, our goals. Yeah, for sure. And uh, we'll probably have different places where if you spend this much you know you'll get this or this yeah. access or whatever and then as certain certain goals that are met then we can improve 
the show with For different sure. ways. You know, we can get a better camera, better microphones. Yeah, no doubt. We can start getting yeah. some big baller interviews. We can get a yeah. studio. We can fly to Paris. We yeah, can. Yeah, that'd be a nice. We can go to Mars. You know, yeah, we're gonna have yeah. the first, first, uh, first there. interview on <laughs> on Pluto because that's, I guess, where you want to go. So, and we're out of here. Bye bye. <laughs>